I, my basic involvement is basically with cystic fibrosis. Uh, I have two children with Angerman syndrome. Uh, my daughter Sophie, who's 10, and my son Theo, who is seven. Angerman syndrome is a rare neurogenetic disorder that affects about one in 15,000. We didn't find out for many, many years, but he has a genetic condition, which is known as the pitt rogers danks um, syndrome because Professor Dank set up the research at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne. Ehlers-Danlos is a connective tissue disorder. It's a genetic condition. It's degenerative. It's lifelong. It's extremely disabling. It's very complex and it's multi-systemic. There is no cure for EDS and there's very little in the way of treatment at the moment. So I have alopecia areata universalis. Alopecia areata um, is an autoimmune condition that causes hair loss to the scalp and body. So I've got neurofibromatosis type 1. Throughout these interviews, I'll just refer it to as NF, because that's much easier to say. Um, so it's a genetic condition that affects one in two and a half thousand people throughout their life. Well, I have cystic fibrosis. I have a leukodystrophy, and mine is called adrenomyeloneuropathy. So my condition is called neurofibromatosis, um, so NF for short, and I've got type 2. I was born with a paediatric um, genetic blood disorder, so that means that I have a disorder of the red blood cells that um, came about because of changes on the genes that produce haemoglobin. It were, I was in intensive care. For the whole time I couldn't see my friends, only saw my parents and occasionally some family members. But normally I just couldn't see my friends really, or I, I couldn't move much since I was always connected to a trip and stuff. And um, there's three different ways of effect in this condition. Um, I've, mainly, I've been affected in two of the areas, but mainly in the brain. So I am gene positive for Huntington's disease. Um, so what that means is that I have a mutation or an extension on my Huntington gene, um, and that causes an overproduction of um, the protein, um, Huntington protein, and that essentially over time builds up and it slowly starts eroding or attacking your brain. So syndromes without a name is otherwise known as SWAN, um, Australia. And we support families who have kids with undiagnosed or rare genetic conditions for which there's no other active peer support group. Our primary focus is peer support, but with that comes an awful lot of advocacy work. So I support a condition called spinal muscular atrophy. And if you've heard of motor neurone disease, SMA is the childhood version of motor neurone disease. So we do a number of different support roles at the association. Uh, that first support, supporting the family if they come through either a newly diagnosed family or ongoing support of an existing family. Um, we also have a lot to do at the moment with advocacy and trying to get access to treatments coming down the pipeline. Well, leukodystrophy is a rare genetic disorder. It's neurological, it's progressive, it's degenerative, and it can strike at any age. We offer holistic support, so it's whatever the family wants. Somebody rings and they want respite or they just want to chat or they might need counselling or they might need guidance about equipment. So we represent people who have uh, sickle cell anemia. It's a disorder that affects the red blood cells. Uh, I would say a peer support, but also mainly an advocacy group because uh, this condition is very rare in Australia and we're trying to raise awareness. Well, the condition is called Gorland syndrome and it's a medical condition that affects many parts of the body, the, the jaw, the skin and um, some internal problems as well. Really, it's just a mutual support group, but um, uh, we are in touch with the American and the English groups who are a bit more sophisticated. So Usher syndrome is a rare genetic condition that is um, characterised by a profound 
hearing loss, um, a deteriorating vision loss, and sometimes a, a balance disorder. We're, we're really a support organisation. Um, we don't provide um, NDIS services, uh, but we are really uh, a peer support group who can provide contact on um, when families are newly diagnosed and provide them with uh, really great information um, about the condition, about the services that their children might need, um, and linking them to various clinicians across the country as well.